Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry. I'm the Moonlight Crafter. In this video and these five other videos, I'm going to introduce to you the brand new in colors that Stampin' Up! just released. We've got Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, and Just Jade. In this video, I'm going to be using one of the brand new in colors that Stampin' Up! just released, Misty Moonlight. It is a pretty muted blue color, much lighter than Night of Navy, which is a good complement to the other blues that we have in our collection. Stampin' Up! is wonderful that every two years they give us five new trendy colors to refresh our colors that we get to work with. Five go out, five come in. And I want to show you how quick and easy it is to make a beautiful card. I'm going to be using the Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper with the Misty Moonlight card base. This has several layers, lots of leaves, lots of uh, pieces that you can lay back behind something. And the one that I'm choosing to use looks like it's for framing a card. You can see there's a lot. All right, one of these here is what I want to use. Oops, I've used a couple of them. Here we go. This guy right here is the one I want to use. And you do have several. I think I have three of this exact one. And they're already pre-cut, so all I have to do is just gently remove them out of the, the backing. And already this card is coming together to be beautiful. So I'm just going to take my liquid glue. I'm going to center it. I'm choosing the larger leaves to glue. You don't have to glue every, every piece, every, every um, surface. Also, your fine point glue would be a great option here. going to center him the best that I can. And put him down. And I'll use the back of my dimensionals or back of a piece of paper to push down and not get glue on myself or my project. There we go. Um, I'm going to be using a not brand new stamp set, but one that I feel like you need in your life. This is Beautiful Promenade. It is a really gorgeous set with a lot of neat sayings and some larger flowers and some smaller flowers. Um, the one that we're using today says, praying that this difficult road leads you to a beautiful destination. I just feel that's so beautiful because how many times are we really going through something difficult but hoping that if a loved one is going through something difficult, that they can come out to something beautiful on the other side. That's all you ever pray for. Love the sentiment. Just fits. Now it's this photopolymer. This is a brand new stamp set for me. So you want to make sure that you put this on your arm or on your sweater or something first because it's so sticky you don't want it to rip your paper. I'm going to be using Night of Navy as my ink. And you know what? I messed up, but I'm going to try to do it anyway. I should have taken this flower and stamped back behind my card base before I glued down my gold piece, but I didn't do that this time. This is what it looks like if you would have done that. It's just going to go back behind here. But so what I'm going to do instead is I'm still going to stamp around the edges, 
but this time I'm gonna go further off the edges and, and bleed off onto my paper and see, we'll see how it looks. Mistakes happen, you just gotta work with them. Same thing, very sticky stamp. All right, let's work around the edges and see how we can make this look. Oh yeah, we can still make this work. So that's all I did. I tried not to stamp on the foil. And if you do, it will probably wipe right off. We'll try that here in just a second. Yep, looks beautiful. Can't hardly tell the difference. Okay, so I stamped around the edges. Again, preferable that you stamp before you put down your gold foil. But when mistakes happen, you just have to move on with it. Do the best you can. Now, um, I like how this is kind of goes around the outside and it leaves a beautiful spot for a sentiment in the middle. And so I decided to use our set called the Stitched Nested Labels Dies. And I used this size here because it fits perfectly on my sentiment. And I'm gonna use my Big Shot to cut that guy out. And when you do that, you get this piece here. See, I messed up, so I'm praying that this difficult road leads me to a beautiful destination. <laughs> There we go. Very nice, turned out beautifully. I love it. And that's about it. I'm just going to use my dimensionals to pop this guy up on my card base on the center. Do not skimp on your dimensionals. You don't want a floppy card. You want a very nice looking card. You want to make sure that if you make a card, that it is your best work always. Craftsmanship is important. And I'm just going to center it and put that guy down. There we go. Lastly, I'm going to use our rhinestones. Put a large rhinestone here. Top. These are our basic jewels. We have them in lots of other colors as well. And they are adhesive already. And then I'm going to use our matching brand new ribbon that comes in the misty moonlight. And I'm going to try to make a teeny tiny bow. And I just do bunny ear, bunny ear, and loop them over, just like you're teaching a child to tie their shoes. I know this because I'm trying to teach my child to tie his shoes. No luck thus far. I have better luck teaching uh, you guys how to tie a bow than I do getting him to tie his shoes. And there's just a little tiny bow. And then I found the best way to put down bows is using the little tiny uh, uh, glue dots that come in your paper pumpkin kits. There's lots extra, and that's what I like to use to put my bows down. And 
and I'm just going to center him. And ta-da! Even with messing up, a super simple card that you can make quickly using our brand new in colors, specifically Misty Moonlight. I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy tutorial using the brand new in color Misty Moonlight. And remember, I have four more videos out there with quick and easy tutorials just like these to show you how you can make a greeting card quick, easy, and using our brand new in colors. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night.